How do we get how do we get this thing started? No, you ride this one. Oh, yeah, Ser I'm riding that one. Seriously, this one will kill you. <laughs> this one will kill me. <laughs> it's got no brakes. So jump on, man. I haven't ridden a motorbike in my life. This will be good. So we should turn the key on. Yep. Right, turn and the key on. that's like electric start, so just push that button and hopefully. Clutch in. Oh, it doesn't matter for this. Right. So now. If click you, him up. If you click that up, you'll see that light will go out. Yeah. You're, you're in first. So it's just a matter of easing that clutch off and you're away. You'll be right. I'm on. Oh, easy. Yee -hoo! Let's do this. <laughs> you're a pro. Yeah. Got it. Let's go. So we're here at Wonder Bar Lamb Farm. This stuff is probably as good as it gets, Australia-wide. Mate, tell us why your lambs are really, really tasty. What do you do to them to make them better than anyone else's? Well, about three years ago, we seeked out some Humane Choice certification, just, just as a way to help tell our story, yep. tell the consumer you know, how, how our sheep are raised, where they come from. Their big thing is, you know, they've got a big focus on free range yep. and the ethical and humane treatment of your livestock. You don't get much more free range than the guys that we just saw. How big was that paddock? Uh, oh, that's only a small paddock. That's, that's a small paddock? Yeah, that's one of my little finishing paddocks that I keep nice and close to the yard so they're quick and easy to run in and weigh off. Also, a point of difference would be the breed of sheep. Yep. Um, we've gone into a shedding, clean skin type of breed which drop their wool, which yep. um, takes away the need for Shearing and crutching, and yeah. probably most importantly, uh, taking the tails off. And that's and just basically a ha you get a happier lamb, so therefore, you know. They're... Well, we like to think so. Yeah, because at the end of the day, that that really does create a tastier piece of meat. Um, if they've got a happy life, if, if you guys are doing all the right things leading up to when they do actually go down the abattoir, it, it definitely helps guys like myself who are, who are playing with it in the kitchen. Makes makes our life a lot more easy. And we've had a look around, mate. You live on some stunning land. Um, do you reckon that's got anything to do with it? Because if I was a lamb out here, I would be tickled pink with my surroundings. Yeah, no, nah, we try and try and give them the best, best the pastures we've got. Yeah. So this time of year, it's pretty easy with, with the rain we're having. There's green grass everywhere, as you can see. Your ideal weight, if you're going to send them off to the butcher, what are you, what are you looking at? Anything over 40 kilos. Yep. You know, a 40 kilo lamb, you're looking at a 20 kilo or more carcass. I reckon the 20, 21, 22, yeah. 23, that's, yep. that's where we yep. tend to like them. You've so. got a weird grin on your face. Are you going to get me to do something weird here? I can oh, tell. It can be interesting at times, but we'll see how we go. <laughs> Bloody perfect. So basically what we're doing here is weighing the sheep. So once they've been out in there for, how long would they be out in the field for? Their whole life. Which is? <laughs> Six months. Six months out there. They then come into here and they're basically ready to go off to the abattoir. They need to get weighed. So, looking at around 50 kilos for these ones? Yeah, one's over 50. Just put a, put a like, rattle their head or something. Rattle their head? What does that mean? Oh, give them a spray. Stop a spray. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, here they come. So that should automatically shut. 50. <laughs> now. How do you open the gate up? Hang on. Yeah, this. Oh, the handle. There you go, buddy. Go on. There we go. Yeah. He's getting a run up. Go, buddy. Right, eh? Cool. Wayne Shee. Tick that off the bucket list. <laughs> So when we came down here, we wanted to sort of get some local knowledge. We met up with Dan Moss yesterday and he said, you've got to go out and see Benny and his, and his lambs. He was so much about his, his local guys supporting the local growers and farmers. That's a big thing around here, isn't it? To find a chef like that in the Clare Valley that can just, you know, buy a whole lamb and change his menu to use the whole lamb, yeah. that's great for this yeah, small producer like yeah. me that can just ship him off a couple of lambs every now and again whenever he needs them. Yeah. So, He's, uh, yeah, he's really good. And distribution right-wise, you've got a guy in, Bar how do you say it? Burra. Burra? 
Got a guy in Burrow. That's probably your main your main guy that you, you distribute to. Yeah. Yep. Casey Cooper up there at Cooper's Butchers. He um, he's looked after me pretty well. He's yep. been with me since the start. And he's got some there now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I want to get a couple of racks of ribs. So yep. we'll try and head down there. See if he's got some lamb for it. Cool. I'm sure Casey will hook us up. Sweet. Hey fellas, how are you? Is Casey around? Yeah. Yeah, mate. How are you? Nice to meet you. Yeah. Uh, mate, how's things? How's how's the Barra Butcher going? Yeah, pretty well. Yeah. You guys have worked worked with each other for a while. Yeah, I've known Ben a lot of years. Yeah. Um, What's his lamb like? Very good. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had, uh, I haven't had a bad word said about it. Yeah. So. Uh, it's certainly a unique talking point on his part. Yeah, it's uh, better for me and Tiff himself. Awesome. Uh, Someone told me you might have a few lamb ribs put aside for you. Yeah, yeah, I've got, right? uh, got some flaps there. And yeah. I'll do up for you. Perfect. Do you want to just start up as a rack? Of... Yeah, just a rack and then I'll break it down from there. Nice. How much fat have they got on them? I'm just going to come yeah, down. Yeah. Yeah, can you take the cap off? Because I'm only going to roast them, so. How are you? Good. What are you going to go for? Well, they asked me what I wanted. I said, just a moment. So you get the visuals. So these visuals are good. Right. And that port house looks about the best. Perfect. Can't say much more than that. Good. We well, shall listen. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what TV is. <laughs> Mate, that's it. Legend. Thank you so much. Cheers, Casey. Yeah, he's a good, good lad, Casey. Yeah, he's so. a legend. And like, he really does. Like, he does have an awesome reputation yeah. around here. Like. Yeah.